Hey there, gang, and welcome to the locker room. Coach Gates here, and today's message, assume the sale. Now, while this message is inspired by my natural self, which is a salesperson, uh, and it's obviously for all of you out there that sell for a living and are sales leaders, this goes for everybody. Always assume the sale. What does that mean? It means that you're well prepared to discuss your products, your services, or whatever it is that you need to discuss, a situation with a family member, a friend. And as long as you're prepared when you meet with that person or a group of people, then you need to next assume the sale. Assume that everyone will say yes. Assume that that individual is going to go along with you because you did your homework. You know what you're talking about. You're the expert. You did your research. You reached out. Without all of those components, you can assume the sale, and it probably will happen, but it will really happen if you do your homework and are well prepared because now you can simply assume that everyone is going to say yes. Let me give you an example. Every single time that I sat with a prospective client when providing them with our insurance services, I got involved in their conversations. I listened to them. I understood them. I took in everything around me. I knew exactly what was going on in their lives. And I was well prepared with what I was presenting because I knew before I even started that they needed what I had. So when I was done, I was so well prepared, I kept getting agreement as we kept going along that at the end I would say, okay, Bob, Mary, did you have any more questions? Did you understand how this worked? Yes, can you see the value and the benefit in having it? Great, the only challenge that we have now is getting you qualified. I don't know whether you will or you won't qualify. It'll take six to eight weeks, but what we need to do right now I need to get all of your medical records, your doctor's name, address, and information, your driver's license. I'm going to need all of this information. So while you're getting that, I need to fill out some paperwork here while you're doing that. And this was my standard close at the end of every presentation. I assumed the sale. I assumed that they were going to say yes. And over time, a very high percentage of those people did say yes. Now, sometimes they stop me and they would say, no, 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 no. I'm not interested. I'm not buying it tonight. Oh, okay. All right. Let me just rewind the tape then, John and Mary. And let's, let's just go over the program just to make sure that you understand how it works and I can answer any more questions. And then I would do a quick review. But after the review, I would once again go into assume the sale mode. Again, this is a technique or this is a mindset that those of us who are in the world of selling, who've taken sales courses, who understand the sales process, we adopt it. We assume the sale. We assume that everything that I'm going to say is going to work. And if it doesn't, that's okay. We'll discuss what it is that you need and have questions on, but then I'm going to come right back to assuming the sale at the end. Now, if it's personal, same thing. You're talking with a friend, they're having some challenges, you might not be selling them anything, but you may be selling your ideas through your own experiences and through experts that you know. So you use all of that to assume that what you're going to say is going to be helpful and it's going to move the needle. It's going to move them to a better place. Assume the sale, gang. Do it every time. Best life ever. If you like this message, be sure to share it. You know what to do, gang. Do this. Best life ever. See you in tomorrow's broadcast. Bye-bye.